next block is J12, and J12 is a little basket block. It is modified. The sides and the basket part have been modified so that this is one piece and that these are equal. So we'll be working from this. I've got my pieces laid out. It's real straightforward. There's a total of six pieces here. These are going to be basted. I'm going to baste this side first, and then this way the tags are going to go out. Same thing here. And then this is going to be basted short sides and then opposite long sides. So that way I can try to maintain my points as best as possible. And this I'm just going to do opposite sides and then opposite sides. When I go to base this, I'm going to use a gathering stitch method on this outside curve and my inside curve for the basting. I'm going to notch my fabric and um, fold it in with the glue basting. And I will do my inside curve first because I'm going to use the thread with the gathering stitch to bring this in so that I can go through my glue that way. Assembly, I'm going to obviously just put this together, attach it to this, and then applique this on. So this is going to be quite straightforward. The very first thing that I'm going to do is assemble these four pieces. So an interesting thing happened when I was doing some block prep. I have obviously done quite a few blocks in this quilt, and I came across a scrappy directional background. So I had to go through and mark my background fabric for directional as well as my focus fabric uh, because I have a collection of fabric that somebody else laid out that I didn't pick my backgrounds. So just as a note, sometimes you're going to run into directional backgrounds as well as focus fabric. So this is going to be where my basket handle goes and then I've basted these with the tags facing out and I'm going to do the same here and with like I said these short sides are going to go first for my basting. Okay so I've basted all my pieces for my um, for my block and when I basted these this this last section last it gave me my tags up which are going to nest real nicely around my triangles because the tags are going away and the same with this so I got these going on top just so you know how they fit and then this will attach to this so let me get these all sewn together and then I can applique my handle on so I've attached a triangle to each side of one of the basket pieces and so now I'm going to connect these into one unit so I've got the basket all assembled and now I just need to attach my top rectangle Okay, so I've got my block assembled and I've got all of my fabric going in the correct direction. I made everything assigned this to the, to the up direction. And so I've also basted the inside part of my handle. I've notched this and then glued it. And now I'm going to baste these little ends and then I'm going to gathering stitch um, the outside to base this to get the handle shape. I will then place it on my block here to applique it on. So I've done my gathering stitch on my basket handle and if you notice it's kind of three-dimensional and that was kind of intentional kind of not. I pulled it a little tighter than flat when I pulled it around. You want to have um, some tightness on the fabric when you go to base this other side down but what I want to do is when I place it and staple it down I'm going to do the outside edge first because it's sitting you know flat and then I'm going to come in and stuff all this other extra fabric that's here I'm going to stuff the edges in there and then applique this so I'm going to go one way and then back the other and then tie it off. So I will get this stapled onto my block. So, how do you determine where your handle goes? Do you eyeball it or how do you do this? So what I've got is I've got my diagram, my modified diagram out of my booklet and I've got a ruler 
and I'm just going to measure here and you've got 3 8 of an inch on this side from the edge and 3 8 of an inch on this side from the edge. So shockingly I'm going to measure 3 8 of an inch and put the edge on and this the paper moves it's you know it, you can move it quite a bit so measure in and then tack it down measure in tack it down and then tack it at the top so that way you know that it's placed in the right spot. So now I have a completed J12 block. You will notice in the paper pieces booklet, there's a note from Jess about her putting her basket sideways. What you will see in the picture of the Dear Jane uh, quilt is that the basket for J12 is pictured sideways. I'm not exactly sure where I heard this from, but my understanding is that the quilt was displayed 90 degrees and the block that we all know as A1 is really supposed to be A13. So the one column was really supposed to be the top row, but whatever. So if you want to if you want to put your basket sideways or if you want to make it upright, there's been a whole big conversation about which way is right and the which way is right is the way that you want it to be.